Hello, everybody. Um, welcome back to Sticks and Stones Productions. Today, I'm Kai, and I have a review for you of this little pilot fountain pen. Um, I bought this in Japan a few years ago, so I'm not actually sure the model. But, um, this is going to talk about it, since I truly do think this is a really excellent pen. First, a couple of size comparisons. Here it is against the Parker Jotter. Um, Uniball, Uniball Vision Elite. Your normal Sharpie. A little Bic generic pen. Fisher Space Pen Bullet. Closed and capped. Posted, sorry. Pilot Metropolitan. It's pretty close. And tactile turn bolt action pen in bronze. So it's a it's a full size pen. It's a normal sized fountain pen. And let's get into the good things about this. First off, this is a really pretty pen. It has a nice red and black, probably a lacquer. It's marbled with the the gold accents. Normally, I don't like gold, but I think this does a really good job. Red, black, and gold, they just kind of, they go together well here. Um, it's got a nice design, it's slim, it's good length, and um, feels nice in hand, both not posted as well as posted. Secondly, or thirdly, I guess, it has a nice clip. It's got really strong retention, you can see. And even though there's no ramp, it's got this little ball at the end. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not looking at the camera, sorry. Um, and it just slides in and out of things really, really easily. Next, this clip is integrated into the cap, so there's nothing to unscrew or lose. Like on this tactile turn, if you unscrew this bit, the cap, the clip might come out, and then you're out of clip. But this guy, it's all integral. It's nothing to come out, nothing to lose. Um, pilot, this is a pilot pen, and the only branding is right here on the cap, and then Japan on the back. There's no big logo like on either of the end caps. I think that's really nice. And um, now beyond the aesthetics, this is a 14 karat nib, a gold, 14 karat gold nib, sorry. And let me get some paper to write on. This writes really smoothly, very minimal pressure. You can do the loops. Very little skipping. I think this is a medium nib, although it is a Japanese, so it's going to be thinner than your European nibs. And out of the box, it came with a blue-black pilot cartridge. I'll talk about that later. And it also came with a, cart a converter, so you can use your ink bottles or ink that you made if you're cool. And it also came with this little red knife slip. I don't think that this is real leather, but it still looks nice. And with this little pilot case. It's got some foam, space for a spare cartridge, and a cute little plastic covering. It's pretty light. Um, it's about 1 ounce, 0.9 ounces, or 26 grams if you don't live in America. Good for you. The cap is not screw on, so you can just pop it on and off. But it does have really solid retention, has a nice click, and it's still really easy to take off and pop back on. There's no like, long, you don't have to screw it down or anything. Um, it has a really, really solid construction. It's three pieces, and it won't unscrew or uncap in your pocket. 
Oh, sorry, that weight, um, 26 grams, 0.9 ounces, was with a converter in, about half full. And it writes great, both posted and unposted. This is unposted. Fits my hand nicely. I got my name. And then unposted. Hello there. General Kenobi! Now, on to the less good things. This pen is pretty, pretty expensive. I bought it in Japan. I don't, it was a gift from my mother. I believe it was about $100. Ooh, sorry about that, moved you guys. And the clip, as I mentioned earlier, there's no ramp. So I've, I haven't had any problems with it because I, I've never carried it in my pocket, but I'd imagine it might have some trouble slipping into thicker, thicker shirt pockets or thicker pants pockets. And cartridges. Pilot uses a proprietary cartridge system. Um, let's see if I can grab this guy up. Sorry, I should have thought about this. But this um, is a pilot cartridge. I don't have any any international cartridges on hand. I'll probably flash a picture up on screen. But. Pilot cartridges, harder to get. There's gonna be a smaller selection of inks. That's just really, really annoying. Standards are good. iPhone, use USB-C. Um, and last thing, fountain pens are kind of, kind of finicky. Traveling by air, it's possible that you might get ink all over your suitcase or all over your backpack, whatever you're carrying this guy in. And people that aren't fountain pen people, they might not know what to do with it. They might try to you know, write upside down. That always scares me a little. Write sideways, oh, what's this? I just don't like handing nice things in general to people, especially fountain pens. And it might they might bleed on thinner or lower quality paper. I haven't had any problems with this pen, as you can see. So, there's not much bleed through either side. There's not much feathering either, if you can see. And yeah, that's about it for the good and the bad. Um, in conclusion, this is a really, really great fountain pen for the price. Again, I'm really sorry I don't have a link for this, and I don't know what model it is, but you know, if you're ever traveling in Japan and you're going to Tokyo Hands, the stationery department, take a picture of this, screenshot, ask if they have it. It's really great. Although it takes proprietary cartridges and fountain pens can be kind of tricky in traveling and in your everyday life, it comes with a converter, writes beautifully, writes like a gem, has a great design, excellent construction, and if you can find it, definitely recommend, definitely worth it to pick up. Thank you, have a great day.